Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're going to try out this new toy we got from the Meat Stick. We're going to do a little bit of comparison on it. We're going to give it a try up against the meter. We're going to try these out this week. Stick around! <laughs> So this week we're going to do, the fine folks at the Meat Stick reached out to us to do a comparison video uh, of some of our other meat thermometers that we use. We have no affiliation with any of the thermometers that we're going to use today, but we thought it'd be interesting to check them out. Mainly what we're looking for is uh, accuracy and distance, you know, from the base. Neither one of the thermometers that we're going to use today are hooked up to the cloud. So it's all gonna be distance from the extender bases that are provided with these fine cooking instruments. So we're gonna show you how easy it is to set up cooks on either of these thermometers. So first we're gonna do the meat stick. We're already connected to the base through our iPhone. It connects also with Android. And we're simply gonna to go to set up cook today we have about a three and a half pound pork loin and we're going to do it on smoke. We're going to select pork and then go to pork loin and then I'm going to shoot for 142 and the target ambient is going to come up to, we're going to shoot for about 375 on this. That's where we have our rec tech running. Okay, so we're at 375. We're going to go next. And it's scanning. It's creating our cook for us. It's showing us, you know, where we need to insert. This meter needs to be inserted completely, or this, the meat stick needs to be inserted completely into the meat. And it's now cooking. So over to the meter. We're going to go to set up this cook. Both of them have very nice apps that go with each of them. They're very user friendly. We're going to go to loin. We're going to do the same thing. 142. Start cook. This is going to estimate once we're in the meat how long, much time it's going to take for this pork loin to get done. And you'll be able to monitor both of these from a pretty decent distance from your uh, whatever you know whatever you're using to cook on whether it be your grill you can use these in the oven you could use them on a smoker uh, today we're using our rec tech just to do this comparison we're also going to use our trusty thermoworks dot and our probes for our rec tech to kind of get a, a very similar idea of where we're at on this cook so we have some comparisons these are all wired devices that we'll be using over here these are wireless so now we're going to go ahead and insert the meat stick and we're going to try to hit this same area the center mass of the the pork loin and come in there then the meter we're going to come in from the other side about there so I can feel them right here they're both right about in that area and then once we get outside and get to the smoker we'll go ahead and put our wired meters in or our wired thermometers in and we'll see where they're reading so we have the meat stick the meter plus thermoworks dot and then our uh, rec tech probe going into it and we're going to monitor all four of these and uh, see where they all fall on this comparison. Okay, so looking at the two apps, the, the meat stick is running at 142 internal, and the meter plus is running at 132 internal, uh, off a little bit. Ambient temperature is 381 on the meat stick. That is directly in line with the rec tech temperature. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go out and probe this with our Thermoworks Thermapen and check to see just how close we are and see which one is more closely depicted to our internal temperature with Thermapen. So inside on the uh, the meat stick, we were at 142. Uh, the alarm went off 
on the meter plus, we were at 133, and we came out and our dot is running at 137. But we're now we're just gonna go ahead, we got our instant read, so thermal works. We're gonna go ahead and just stick it in here and see how close we are. there it's running at 137 so we're gonna come in here and go down and we're at 142 right there on the money so we're gonna probably pull this guy off I think we're I'm gonna try it in a couple more spots just to be certain yeah, see where we overshot down here on this end. But right here where all these probes are going in, we seem to be hitting what that, what the meat stick has told us inside, which is that we were at 142. Uh, and again, the dot is, is reading real close to what uh, the meter plus is. So they're all kind of right in the same area. But according to our instant read uh, thermal work, thermal pen, the, uh, the meter, stick the meat stick is correct so we're going to go ahead and un unhook all these wires that we have out here we're going to take this inside and let it rest we're going to talk about it a little more what we found with our experiment we did here today as far as accuracy goes at the end of the day uh, the meat stick compared to our thermoworks dot and also to our thermoworks pen were very close. The meter plus wasn't far behind. It was just that the meat stick was, was a little bit closer. The ambient temperatures on both of them, uh, they kind of varied, you know, significantly from what our Rectech smoker was doing. Both of them performed very well. Both of them are very good tools. The connectability of uh, both of them, very easy to set up. On the meter plus, the app's probably a little bit more interactive. Both of them are easy to use. It's just there's a little bit more features to the meter plus app that, uh, you know, makes it a little bit, you know, more user friendly uh, if you're not real, you know, good at using a cell phone or a computer or whatever. Uh, in the past, I have used the uh, uh, the meat stick X, you know, to when I was trying this product out. And I did notice that the range on both of them as I used them, the range was actually a little bit better on the meat stick X. I could get, you know, pretty far away from my house uh, just using the connection between the phone and the bases of each of them with the meat stick. Uh, the meter seemed to, I'd lose connection uh, when I'd get, you know, outside of my yard. If I went down the street with the meat stick, it stayed connected, I was still able to read it. Uh, if you're just cooking in your backyard, that's not a big deal. Uh, these are both very good tools to use. Uh, my word of advice is this, even though you have these tools at your disposal, they're very good to use to monitor your internal temperature of your meat and also the ambient temperature of your pit. But you always wanna check everything with an instant read thermometer. Whatever your choice is, we use ThermalWorks, again, you just want to keep an eye on it when it gets close to your done temperature. Uh, both of these work very well, but as far as, you know, for this exercise we did here, this one was as, as, as close to the dot and as close to uh, the instant read pen. The meat stick was a little bit closer, uh, but then again, the meter plus wasn't far behind. And then again, it's very subjective with, you know, where at on the, uh, the meat that the probes are. We try to get them as close to each other as we could in there, uh, but both of them are very good products. Like I said, uh, it's just with the with the you know the extender on this one, you seem to be able to get a little bit further away from it if that's what you want. Uh, again, we want to continue. Thank you for following us. We'll see you next week. Get you some.